and we are live hello welcome to the sunday game stream and to chaos and deponia i think we're getting close to the end of it um we also have so if we finish it today oh goodness i am so sorry i did not mean to hit my mic uh if we finish it today i will go ahead and start goodbye deponia which is the next game in the series and the last game in the trilogy though there is a fourth game in the deponia world uh, so yeah, don't forget to follow me on Farmly Known as M on Twitter. That's F R M R L Y K N O W N A S E M, and follow me here on Twitch for notifications for when I go live. I was told there, yeah, no, there was a trash fire in. Okay, there was a trash fire. Hold on, I don't know if it'll let us go back. Uh, if there is still a trash fire in that location, I will absolutely show you. Hold on. Because there is a massive pile of, like, literal Not tires. We have reached our destination. Damn. Okay. Yeah. There was a massive pile of uh, pile of tires that we set on fire last week. <laughs> so, yeah. There were trash fires. Hey, Bozo. Together again at last. Raiding the seven seas, just like in the old days. Well, we only met a few days ago. But I already know that all attempts to interrupt you when you're acting like that are futile. So I'll just keep talking like nothing happened and hope you get over it sooner or later. Um, <laughs> Good old bozo. You really haven't changed one bit. It is still on the VODs uh, if you wanted to check the VOD from last week. And there's also a YouTube playlist now. So if you check the YouTube link down in the little descriptor thingy-majig. Um, there's actually a playlist set up for each game separately, and this is, it should be like either the last one in the Deponia series or the next to last one where you actually set it on fire. Um, but yeah, it was very recent. Yeah, oh, so far so good. But how can I get in there? Have you tried the hatch? Uh, yes, but maybe I should try it again, just to make sure. I'm not diving into that murky brew without equipment. I've still got an old diving suit. Oh, cool. But I'm not sure it's a good idea to use it. The air tube is full of germs that could give you cancer. Yeah, just like you're cowardly waffling. Uh. Let me try something. All right, I'd better take cover. A lousy candle? With this Stone Age equipment, I ought to be glad the others don't have to row. Alright, I'm taking a candle. Uh, okay. What are you planning to do? Are you finally going to swab the deck? Of course not! Or do the laundry? Dream on! Then are you going to wash your hands? <laughs> Give it a rest. Okay. Why can't you just let me go on believing that this water type actually has a practical use? Uh, sorry. You're so gross. Uh, okay. What else do we have? There's just some residue left in there. Really? What happened to the sealant I mixed in there? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I've eaten worse. There's just some. What? Oh, don't be. I've eaten. No. How's it look? Everything is ready. As soon as we have the third cartridge in our hands, the operation can begin. Splendid. Everything okay? And how? This is all so exciting. Hmm. It's almost a pity that it will soon be over. All we have to do is get the hatch open, and then Doc can put you back together. I'm afraid Lady Gold won't make it that easy for us. Oh, don't worry. Once I turn on the charm, oh yeah, she'll give in. Poor Rufus. I don't know. Trust me, it'll be child's play. Rufus, you're so gross. That fishing pole must take a really big worm. <laughs> This'll be fun. What is it? It was supposed to be a doorbell prank. Oh, <laughs> how funny. And and what happens next? Uh, well, well actually, that, that was the whole thing. Terrific! You did that really well. I'm glad Baby Goal exists. That's a fishing pole for people in a hurry. Close. 
It's a diving crane. Oh yeah? Then why did I catch a baby orca with it a little while ago? Because you're an incurable troublemaker. Then stop trying to cure me all the time. I'm not jumping in. I hate picking glass splinters out of my hair. That spoiled my last three trips to the Hall of Mirrors. Uh. That idea is... That's a scare gull. A scarecrow against seagulls. No, it isn't. Okay, so let's see if we combine the diving suit with the pot. Maybe I we shouldn't can melt seal. that down. It belongs to phase two ah. of my foolproof plan, which brings us back to phase one. Melting thinking down up the, the candle. foolproof plan. Melting up the candle. Got it. The pot is still hot. Maybe hot enough to light the candle. I mean, melt. Pot of well, pot of melted wax. That idea. Okay. It fits. What are you planning to do? I'm going down there now. Maybe there's a back door. In a submersible? Sounds rather illogical. Yeah. But as I'm sure you know, the laws of logic have no effect. Good morning. Underwater. How uh, are you? No, that's not true. You ready? Now stop this underwater claptrap and just lower me down, okay? All right. It's your neck. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. And there's my armed dolphins. <laughs> Am I ready for tonight? Well, I have done some leveling in the meantime and spent some XP, so I hope I'm ready for tonight. Uh, and if y'all don't know what he's talking about, uh, that is Hawkmere, who is in the Shadowport Adventures with me, which happens at 7.30 tonight, 7.30 p.m. EST tonight, on Big Bearded Nerd 21, where I play Hezra the Night Sister. Well, the clone Night Sister, as we recently discovered. Uh... You have oxygen, dude. Like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> My brain. Okay. Um, the hose is too short. All right. I hope this won't be another. Oh god, we're just gonna tie them together? Oh, of course we are. Okay. Are you ready for another dive? All right. It's your neck. Oh, uh, yeah, Darth. Um, it is a Star Wars FFG campaign with uh, Neofet 3. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, gotta actually run the water. What are you planning to do? Are you finally going to swab the deck? Of course not! Or do the long- Dream on- Then are you- yeah. Why can't you- Uh, sorry. Okay. Oh. Now there's no room for me. Now there's no- Hey! Hey, what's up? Looks like the dolphins don't like me. How oh, odd. They're usually such peaceful animals. What can I do about those dolphins? No idea. They really seem to have it in for you. Let me try some. All right. I'd better take them. That's a close. It's oh, yeah? Because you're... Then stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I... Are you sure the word... From what I've seen... Just trust me. The dolphins absolutely want a target. Presenting <laughs> Ray Coulson, the, in the broadest sense of the term, human target. I take back everything I ever said about you, because you scare me. Now there's no room. Hey, Bob. Hey, Rufus, what's up? 
Let me try. All yeah. right, I better take. That's a scare god. Wow. Hey, I'm not paying you to think. Actually, you're not paying me for anything. Which includes thinking. Okay. How does the doorbell prank factor in? Now I've got it. What is it? It was supposed to be a doorbell prank. Oh, how uh, terrific! You did. Do I need to change Gull's personality? Ah, finally. Next time, you might want to tell me when you're going to switch my mind. I'll try to remember that. How does the wax, the pop of wax fit in? That idea is not suitable. That idea is... It's Bozo's pot. Okay. <laughs> this will be fun. Yes? Hello? Hmm. Very funny. Oh, man. <laughs> I must definitely do that again right away. <laughs> what? Rufus? Was that you? Rufus! Blasted idiot. Next time, I'll toss him overboard. Ah! <laughs> it gets funnier every time. Okay. Once again, we're feeling... What? <sighs> Why don't you just cut off the bell? Because I am planning to cut something entirely different off of the immature idiot. That's not a bad idea either. Ow. Ah, okay. Yep, that's the perfect subject for a wax impression. Or a larger-than-life statue at the entrance to the harbor. I'm gonna put the fake head into the diving helmet. Time for my stunt double, Ray Coulson. All right, now if I do this one more time. Kitty, they turned off the bell, and we were having so much fun. Okay, if I talk to Bozo. Hey, Bozo. Hey, Rufus. What's up? Can you please help me lower the dummy? Sure. Do you think they're taking the bait? It's worth a try. Those critters really appear to hate you. Yes, but why? It might have something to do with the fact that you transformed their children into canned fish. He but that's not that. true. Oh, I see. You merely helped them jump into the kitchen, where all of a sudden a few cans of tuna appeared, right? Perhaps Yanosh's mom had to make a little room on her shelf for the aquarium. For the aquarium. Exactly, because I would never Whoa! No matter what you did, they are really pissed off. Are you ready for another dive? All right. I don't know if this is the correct course of action. Oh, but there's a hatch now. Merch was brought to a halt. They stopped Donna Goldspins with torpedo dolphins and finally hope glimpse I cannot exalt. How extendingly aced he was dragged to the base. The bell for the last round was about to chime. The showdown was imminent. And if not, I apprehend the chorus guys will have to work over time.
That's a sound. Rufus, just where have you been? I was forced to submerge for a while. You picked a great time for that. While you were out snorkeling, we were kidnapped by Donna Goal in a surprise attack. I can't leave dun, you dun, alone, dun. not even for a moment. She took Goal with her, as well as the remotes and the cartridges. Nonsense. I've got them right here. Uh, oh, crap. There must be a hole in my coat. I keep losing stuff. This time you <laughs> lost more than usual. Cletus was here. He took both goals with him. They're planning to travel to Porto Fisco in Argus's cruiser. Argus is here too? Well, his cruiser is moored alongside that blast tower over there. Criminy! The blast tower! The rebel attack has already started. But that's suicide. You're right. They're completely lost without me. Oh, Rufus, you really don't know when it's time to give up. Of course I know that. And it starts with Anne, right? I don't... <laughs> we just got a an achievement for Huzzah, we'll work overtime. Get out. Now! Uh, why didn't I pack my animal trainer hat? Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay. So we get transported. Oh, genetic fusion is irreversible. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, so we get transported as the animal that's in the thing. Pew pew. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. So I don't think Tony is gonna be very happy with. Okay, let me just stay stuck in that one. And then... Okay, so I think we have to use the fly, because we can go up. we can get oh, out interesting uh, okay i sense that that will become relevant ow oh here's a hatch ah, i mean <laughs> Okay, so let's see, now if I go through, I'm human and can talk to Yanosh. Well, how are things at the front? Wolfus, at last, grab a weapon and help us. We are hopelessly outnumbered. Uh, no, if I get involved, I'll just expose your incompetence. But you can do it, and I'm not saying that because there is any hope, but to motivate you. That's what you call leadership. Okay. All right. <laughs> Organons outnumber us. Well, as long as these idiots play cannon fodder, maybe I have a chance to sneak past. Um, Wolfish, you know that we can hear every word, don't you? Don't talk, soldier. Fight. So I think take this transporter. Oh, okay. I think I figured it out. Okay. So I think what I have to do is go back here and then use
All right. Wait, no. I need the... I do need the platypus there. Um... Shoot, I think I may have messed this up. Oh, I think I just started the whole thing over somehow. Okay. So. Use this transporter over here. And then. Shit. No, I don't think that was right. Use this transporter. So that transfers the frog. And then hop back in. That'll pop me up in there. <laughs> Use this transporter, which will transport me back here in the form of a frog. Oh, but it won't let me out. Shit. Okay. Well, how up? Not fully. I am you, Kane. <laughs> Frogs are really stupid. Okay. Yeah, I can't get. It. Okay. So. I think what I have to do... Okay. Let's go here to this transporter. Shit, no. I'm messing this up somehow. I feel like I did this. But I need to get the platypus. I need to get the platypus onto this side. Okay, so let's think about this. If I go to the fly, right? And I transport the fly into the frog. No, that isn't working. So much easier if I could somehow... get out now. Uh, why didn't I pack?
right? And then what if we... What if we do this? Can we think it out? No, we cannot. Actually, see if Doc. What's the situation, Doc? Still hopeless. Fantastic. At least then, none of them can escape me. Where's Bozo? Down in the cockpit. He's trying to restart the generator. But the current collectors are empty. We'll probably be stuck here for a couple of hours yet. That's too long. You could help him by holding the lamp. It's too narrow down there for me. Hmm. I don't know. Rufus! Rufus! Force heroically he held the lamp. It, uh, no, that won't work. I'll find another way. Can you tell what's going on over there? I think the rebels have started to storm the tower. Now I see it too. The tower is already shaking a lot. And I see a swarm of trained fireflies. Um, Rufus, why don't you sit down for a moment? You've been on your feet for a long time. No worries, Doc. I feel Becky Mecky Sucky Sucky Dick. Hmm. What are those strange cabins over there? Looks like Organon technology. Probably decommissioned goods transporters from the blast tower. Goods transporters from the blast tower? I hope you aren't thinking about using them. That would be utter madness. One little mistake and you'll wind up as a cloud of molecules. At best, your genes will end up mixed with the vermin that have nested in there. Cool. Listen to me just this once. Using them would be the absolutely stupidest thing you could do. Exactly. Nobody would be expecting it. Unless they know you. Are you familiar? I hope you aren't thinking about... Why? That one... Uh, so, who's a gen one off? Okay. And it would. Oh, I can't. I'm very. You don't think. Sure. One for. Uh, I'm gonna try something. I would say. But since you're not listening. I hate you. I hate you. Thanks, Doc. Good luck to you. Okay. So the only transporter that allows us mobility is the fly. And if I do that, we go in as the frog. And then if I do that... We have to fly on this side. Get out! Now! Ugh. And then we can't get out if we are... Not true. We are hopeless. You can do it.
Okay. Now those two are empty. I think that might be progress. I think whatever I did is progress. There we go. At last, I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah, huh. you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned off due to fighting. Do you often have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you. Still, it seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about it? It's Rufus. He's trying to stop me. Rufus? Persistent little fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just a moment. I left my bag inside. Get on with it. We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm, with your bag or without. Yeah, the Organon. It's, this is very much a, like, lesser of two evils type of protagonist. He's still totally into me, in secret. Huh. No picture, no sound. Apparently, you can only switch the contents of Donna's implant with this remote. Okay. Cletus! Here. Huh? Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls! La la la! Could he be fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls! La la la! No, that can't be what it looks like. <laughs> this is just what it looks like. I'm really messing with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That, that, oh, that a boo, that a bee, that a bar, that a bow. Rufus got the groove, yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor, he's actually fiddling with the bomb controls. I've got to stop him. Okay. I think our first step. Hmm. Nope. Hey, there's Donna's remote and the two other cartridges. I'll there insert we go. one of them. Wh which one? Hmm. Unfortunately, Gold's remote is missing. She must still have it on him. Huh. Nope. Okay. Huh. No. Goal? Donna, anybody? Huh. Apparently nobody's home. No wonder. The implant is empty. The cartridges have really, but not as much as. Okay. Oh, I'm really getting tired of this stupid implant. Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. Why, that's slimy. And where is Donna Goal? Actually, you are now Donna Goal. Ew. Yeah, Lady Goal has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you can talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people's skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. <laughs> Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I 
damn well saw it. Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? <laughs> How typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence. Also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let what? me show you how I spell knuckle what? sandwich. Mm, perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies. There are peaceful ways of settling your differences. Like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Ah, Rufus, didn't I tell you to get lost? It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You go take care of Cletus. He's a bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? I'll get you for that. Whoa. I suppose they really should discuss that among themselves. How can you carry on such extended conversations with yourself? I find that a bit disturbing. This Disturbing. But back to more pressing issues. I must stop Cletus before he... Huh? Cletus? But... Huh? Where did he go? All right. Well then, let's undo the mess that Creepus caused here. That shouldn't be too complicated. After all, he managed to do it. Oh no. What? Well, what is this oh, now? Oh no. A countdown? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, are we going to be on a timer? That was a close one. Oh, but if that god. was the countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy's going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So, who's the loser now, huh? You, of course, as always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Deponians. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas, for now. Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you, or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is gold. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me, I would gladly sacrifice the world just to make a lady smile. The elders will probably blow the place up anyway. I actually even hope so, but by then, it will no longer be my responsibility. And let's be honest, you wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for gold? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm? <laughs> that shuts you up all right, huh? I definitely need better e No cunning plans today? Go ahead, give it maybe the next. Rats. <laughs> that right shut you my up plan. all right, huh? I... Hey, you moron. What are you doing? I'm switching the countdown back on. It's a little shorter this time. Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant. Happy to oblige. Is this the switch? Oopsie. I can be such a klutz sometimes. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you already have to leave. You rotten chunk of sewer slime! What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the controls. You had better pray that this works. What are you doing? I don't know. I have no idea at this point. <laughs> And he just left the bomb going?
Leave her alone! <laughs> Baby doll! Now is not a good time! Lady! <laughs> Because I now have Lady nice Gold. Try, dirt ball. One could almost admire your persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life. Without any hope. I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. Too bad that isn't possible, because you've got something that belongs to me. Right idea. Right. Okay. Oh. I'm not letting go. It's the only trump... For the last time, will you give me that accursed remote? Uh, I know. You need the ascension codes, don't you? What are you getting at, smart ass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about Gaul, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak. Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come. The bomb is ticking. Oopsie daisy. No! You crack-brained numbnut! Go! Uh, oh, that was just... Wow! Well done! Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him all along. Why did he do that? Eh, doesn't matter now. Help me up! Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to apologize. <laughs> I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Mm. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. No, Cletus is the liar, right? Um. What is that? Is there something else you want to... T Cletus, what are you saying? He didn't start. I did. You? Does that mean I knocked him down? In a way, but I'm telling you the truth. So that shows I'm the good guy here, right? No, it only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Goal! 
Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs> As I said before, you don't even want to win. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far. But eventually, the cards must always be laid on the table. I've got two queens. And you? Are we playing rummy now? Shh! <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again, Rufus. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? I've still got the... You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over. And the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. Mm. <laughs> Her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. Mm. More than enough gold for a modest man like me. All yeah. you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but gold's mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? <laughs> At least I'm honest. You like that about me, don't you? Yes. Y yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Goal. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals and the ascension codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! Goal belongs together! Wait! I... Uh, uh, this is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! Ah! They've stopped shooting! Oh, at last! Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. Rufus! Listen up, everybody! It's Rufus! Yeehaw. <laughs> uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we were alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Goal! What? Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Goal would surely have found a more dramatic solution. But I found myself cool enough, and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which... We mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? Aren't you going to miss Baby Goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here. Did he, did she manage to leave him with Donna? She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. Oh my gosh, she managed to switch in Donna's brain. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. Argus plan went awry, and then off the story. <laughs> you have to admit you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. 
Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones oh. And adiposes and memberships to opposing underground organizations So do unpack the bag, now it's anyway way too late to sack uh. me And secondly, where am I gonna stay? Oh, that's right, because we have another game. Huzzah, let's hope far away is the achievement we just got. All right. So, and achievement unlocked, thanks. Was that our 15 minutes of fame? Uh, so, what we are going to do is we are going to... Start goodbye to Ponya. Right. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. And goodbye to Ponya is the third game in the trilogy, so we are officially going to be finishing the Deponia series with this game. Tonya three. There we go. New game. <sighs> Hello, Rufus. Oh no, not again. Yeah. I'm happy to see you, too. I want you to repair this junk press for Doc's mobile office. Oh, <laughs> right. Mobile office. Sure. Look, don't try to put one over on me, Tony. I know exactly what's going on. This isn't a junk press, and it's not even a tutorial. No, it's simply a recurring nightmare. And the fact that you're here is the ultimate proof. Do you really think this is fun for me? I mean... Who needs a tutorial for a point-and-click adventure? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just get this over with, all right? I shouldn't even be here. I'm supposed to be with the Resistance in Portofisco battling the Organon. Instead, I'm explaining how to use a mouse to my dumbass ex-boyfriend. Oh, excuse me. You think you need to explain something to me? All right, all right. Which of us has already had to slog through all this garbage twice? Hey, I know this tutorial inside out. To start with... I have to talk to you. Oh, great. Starting right off with the worst bit. Yeah. And to do that, I use, uh, uh... The, um, the mouse, perhaps? I know that. Since when do I need you to help me? Then what are you waiting for? Just point at me with the cursor and left click as soon as you see the speech bubble icon. Hey! No prompting! Alright, we're gonna skip the tutorial because we've already done it twice. My fellow Elysium, I know how much you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Deponia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all-clear on the return from the ruins of Portofisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now.
assholes, this is the third strike. You're dumping me just like a trash bag. Why? Just because of some must. Tart on the carpet, you pathetic dog head. I assume that your humor did just bite the dust. But this isn't over yet. Here you can bet on that. The last part of my day will surely appease and change your mind anyhow. So turn on your death aid now. The story goes on for good things come in threes. The saga things come in threes. I'll wake those and get the mine detector. Take it easy. I'm just making breakfast here. Fried sludge with honey. Oh, this is The allergy medication is in the cupboard with the bear trap. Nonsense. The sludge is just the bait. I am fishing at this very moment. I'm using the diving crane to catch something big. Oh, good. Uh, no problem. Let me think. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough bandages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I hatched a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp for the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's Cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Rufus! What? You steered us onto an organ on cruiser route. Yeah, and it'll take us directly to the upper ascension station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board, together with gold. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crane. I've got a bite. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Can you roll down the inventory stuff balls from the top? Okay. Uh, I am gonna change the settings a little bit, because the music is a little loud. There we go. Definitely a feast for the eyes. We should dig in before they do. Lights are blinking on the radar screen. A small green one in the middle, and a big red one behind it. It can only mean one thing. We're out of confetti! Okay. Why does it feel like the vocals are... Time to tell him everything later. Once I find out who's responsible for this mess. It's, Have you looked in the it's mirror you, lately? Thank you. Yeah, but I thank only you, Doc. It wasn't me who burnt it. Hey, Doc. Uh, how's it going? Rufus, the cutter is breaking apart. You've got to do something, and I certainly don't mean chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else is up? <sighs> Oh, crap. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cutter. Oh, Rufus, you were so <laughs> right. 
You are such a good friend. <laughs> no, but no. <laughs> what a long time. Rufus. Okay. Uh-oh. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Treason! I love Donna. Stop the engines, Argus. Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Fisco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiance. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron. I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiance. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles. Rotten vinegar. <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um, uh, you know, a visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That what the fuck? Pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool! Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Offenbot, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Okay. Okay. Phew! Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming! Oh, shit! And... Oh, okay. Not the route I was expecting. The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Yeah, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Oh, no. Hey! Oh shit. Oh. I'm guessing we have to let them all fall out. Well, any well. Uh oh. <gasps> what have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. No, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I've got gotcha. you. Oh no. Uh, ah! Wow. Ow! Well, well, who have we here? Uh, that's Rufus, of course. Don't you know anything? Uh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a fan. Don't pay any attention to me. A what? A fan? Exactly! Just carry on, will you? But uh, just a teeny tiny question first. How are you gonna get rid of it? How? Uh, what? You know, what spectacular Rufus maneuver are you going to use? Oh, that. Uh... A pro never reveals his tricks. Oh, come on! How else would I know what F-stop to use? Hello? What's the card you see we're busy? Exactly. Uh, but the photo? Ugh. Go ahead and tell him what you're planning to do, so we can get on with it. No plan. Uh, make a suggestion. <laughs> Good one. I mean, you're Rufus. You've always got a plan. Oh, right. You've got a point there. I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. Need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. 
I'll switch on my night vision equipment just in case. There! Done! Do your thing, Rufus! Man, this is gonna be so epic! Um, okay, okay. One, two... Uh, I'm blind! I'm blind! What? What? <laughs> and... Wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, that's me, you know. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Cole, right? Who? Oh, <laughs> her, sure. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, no, no. Should? Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. Uh... What are you doing aboard an Organon cruiser? Oh, uh, uh, that's a pretty interesting story. Too bad it's not about me. Let's discuss more exciting stuff. For instance, what about my exploits? Oh, boy! So, you're a... My name is Barry. I traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. Wow. You should talk for an interview. Uh... Really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow. You really are the greatest. What in the parasocial... <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course. You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of Cleves. That's how you learned that the Elysians are planning to blast Deconia to pieces, but... They have no idea that Deponi is inhabited. Prime controller Ulysses and Argos, his henchmen, are keeping this fact a secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow, sounds like you were there. Have you also heard that I prevented the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea? Naturally, you led the rebel attack against an Organon blast tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Gull from the claws of her devious would-be fiancé, Cletus. That's exactly how it happened. Did you hear about the time I saved Gull from the claws of the Organon? Sure. The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary. Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary? It's epic. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion against the Organon? Who else? In the floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades in arms to fight against the Darkness Judge. That's where you recruit Janusz, Garlic, and Weevil, who happened to be floating past in a pickle barrel. Oh gosh, even those are things I made up. Oh man, now I want pickles. How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving gold. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. <sighs> I'll shoot you free. But you no, know, a crap shot. <laughs> yeah, She's right. I'm a crack shot. Ah! Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Okay. Ingenious. You found the cruiser's manual speed control. Exactly. The manual uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up. Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Are you going to start the extreme action now? The what? Well, the action! A super extreme Rufus maneuver! Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, totally extreme. This is so exciting! Are you going to... The... Well, a... Uh, yeah, um, This is so... Are you going to... The... Well, uh, um... This is... I guess you have to speed up. 
Oh, okay. Oh god. Um, I see. You're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done. That's because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the cogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Um, please! <laughs> See those sparks fly! <laughs> Oh god. Hey, wake up. You're sleeping. You're crap. Oh, bummer. This was not I promised Goal I would never throw axes at her again. <laughs> I never mentioned fire again. Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Oh, bum. Maximum speed on. Yeah, that's the spoiled sport. This is, if you have motion sickness, this scene's gonna be awful. Okay. Struck sails, wrecked Estonia's small scales, and what? as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still, the mood and the groove was just super whoopie doo. Yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot. And no problem for such a walk is all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And to emphasize this, I flood the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas. <laughs> Choices were made. Most certainly. Oh, what is this? Ha! Yeah! And wow! The way I took out that Organon with my shadow attack! Did you see that? For the thousandth time, Rufus. That was so cool! They call him Rufus! Rufus! Oh. Everybody now! He's cool and he's smart! Hey Rufus, have you considered like... It's something something modern art. Therapy? What? Hey! Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash. Especially for my ears. But, but, go? Come on, Rufus. Are you, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated, all of that. But mad at you? No. It was actually kind of cool. Oh, yeah! Something, something modern art! <laughs> Here we go. Haha! -ha. Stairs are and steep and slippery. Huh. 
I better take a jump. After all, I hate to. That would be too embarrassing. Okay, looks like maybe a restaurant. Okay. Time to start with rampant theft. I don't think much of modern art, but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother. What? And then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here we have the perpetrator. <laughs> a nut. Who needs tools when he had... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty like slippery, my vice grips. Okay. Let's see if there's anything left in here. <laughs> there actually was something left in there. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> okay. <sighs> My circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me, though, with all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold, but I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? That's them. Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night, provided they stay in the room Damn. after midnight, of course. Okay, so Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know of. Super! That's all right, then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, my good man. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Mm, let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh, yeah. And an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Many Tekel. That's a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Many Tekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? Strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon Cruiser Room. Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. Huh, <laughs> them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello. I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all mm, time. That clock is ah, so you've already seen our toilet. 
I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. We've had that checked. I that clicking sound is toilet door and it's got a heart above it. That's a choice. Occupied. Uh, Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Don't get me a twitch strike. Temporal diarrhea? Game. Yes, I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense. There is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the oh, world. Uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. Mm. There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well, it wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha, I knew it. There's one roll of toilet paper left, but it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh, oh, and I had the chili during the toxic and civil war. Oh. Found hey, the laundry. What's going on here? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 bow, baby. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, <laughs> if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure. No problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Boom, hum, kumbaya. No. Darn. Okay. It looks like we have different symbols. So we have a spiral, a hot cup of tea, bowl of water, sideways hourglass, rectangular six, and a pig nose. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Is this going to take long? Oh, darn. Oh, wait, can I take the hanger too? I can. That's pretty, considering there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. Um, <laughs> I... Oh. Darn. Okay. Door to room. Closet. Door to room. this door and he will bear the sign of the beast i know that voice that's m a dull knocking will precede his arrival and he will say ow oh, that's gonna that's leave, leave a, a bum out hey don't mark me you wait a second i know you you're very busy no you're the guy with the pipe the soothsayer from Porto Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't he? Uh, that's just hair splitting. 
I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meatcap, the famous head model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishy trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. It's why vaccines are... What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon, like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. Ah. Yes, Dad. I was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party. And the destroyer will come through this door? Beepo, the destroyer, king of comedians, do 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 da. And he will bear the sign of the beast? He bears the sign of the beast. He does an elephant impression. Be do do be do. <laughs> bo 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 be hey. hey. Be bo bo hey. Congratulations, Emil. Louis. Emma Louis? Yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot coast. Mm. Wait, did I input my name anywhere on this? I don't think I... What's with the strange outfit? Are you in some weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meniteto now. Hmm. You don't happen to know those guys from the laundry room. I don't know what you're talking about. Well. They're carrying candles, singing in minor keys, and they're wearing the same outfit as you. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just a harmless glee club. They painted okay. a pentagram on the floor. Ah, circle of fifths. No doubt about it. Ah! Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh, dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller. But I don't like to use my abilities. Oh, yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly. You have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? <laughs> the world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow, shortly before the late news. Ha! Huh, not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our eyes will have long since burned away when it happens. Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes, an occupational hazard. I'm gonna put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. <laughs> oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. <sighs> it is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> so just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah? What are they waiting for, then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course. For me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. What makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? Then, it rained fire 
from the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquette. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. Finally, the water of the ocean turned to blood. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. So what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock op. <laughs> it is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world, strictly speaking. I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this week. I have seen it otherwise. <laughs> what are you doing here, anyway? I am preparing for my... The world... I see. Tip. As are we all. Hey! All right. Mr. Toffee the Tarantula. Uh, amazing name for... Ooh, I see an inv... <laughs> I'd rather keep my there's a lot more I'd rather there's a lot more I can still Okay At first glance party in but I'm not <laughs> Like taking candy from a baby just to see a cavity Okay One thing causes that makes 50% of I knew it. Toothpaste is useless. Toothpaste bl I knew it. Toothpaste is Okay. The only thing this dust can but it does the one causes cough. That makes All right. Huh. Locked. Gold? No answer. Uh, that doesn't fit here. All right. Huh. Locked. Gold? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. <laughs> it fits. Ah, Whoa! there you are. That's neat. And... Wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No, neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And uh, what does one do with a uh, neuro thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know. Remerging the aspects of her character. Yes. Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right. Together with the ascension code. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Gold will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? For the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of gold. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not this is right, though. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? Oh, what do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? N not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. Please don't. You just have to press here. <gasps> and no, Rufus, no, no, that throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, 
this calibration is really much too easy for you, why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, uh, exactly. Bozo, you uh, absolute plasma, genius. Uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo uh, uh, Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Huh, for beginners like you, maybe. But for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. Those are you absolutely. May I borrow genius. your bag? Sure. Go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? I also have your clothes. Hey, cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Yeah, maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off. All right, all right. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. Why should I? You must be freezing. <laughs> Not really. There's a draft from the hole in the window, but the putrid air from the heater balances it out. What if the heater goes out? Why don't you just tell me what you're planning? Then you won't have to constantly come up with some crazy scheme. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, where's the kick? Where's the challenge? Oh, Rufus. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. Not reception. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well, that's different then. What's your room number? Room five. Really? Uh, how can I help you? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Mm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Uh, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come, provided the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? I'd like to eat something. <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? Oops. <laughs> no, that happened. We think it's before the in one of those. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll save you. And then it's off to Elysium. Mammoth fur? Really? And <laughs> whoop de doo. All right. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop. Too late. <laughs> uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet. Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find relief. I'm not a ghost, and it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service.
I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes. But... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. Ow! Shard! Ow! Another shard! And... Uh-huh! This isn't a shard. It's a knife. Ouch. Hey, just... Well, I thought I was supposed to... Yes! Hey, can't you make up your mind? Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame. Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. All right. What's your guilty secret, then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter? Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room? Next to? A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sing in the shower. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser, twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine. I forgive myself. There. And now? What? And now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or something? <laughs> Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course! Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh, man, what a crybaby. <laughs> ah, guilty schnoke. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. And I'm... S yes. Come on, hop to... It's I... Well, oh, oh, shit. Come on, hop oh, to... Oh, shit. I well, God damn it. Ah, guilty. Glad <laughs> hey, nice... Keep your hands off my sheet. Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> To change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet. Huh, sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh, uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. Well, I would just leave. I should be. Excuse me. Um. Uh, oh, that's better. Hey. Well, I thought I was. Yes. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Who needs change? 
when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort. Ouch. Okay. Ice cream plus a hand with a bone in it, plus electricity, plus a jellyfish. But it did something. Did it. Rufus one, entropy zero. Rufus one. He can find the craziest stuff in the trash. Is that an egg in the corner? Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd, maybe. That looks like an egg over here. Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. Gross. That's a super gross way to word that. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now please get dressed. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink, but... Well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh, it was you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts, you'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta for a And... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely going to sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. Let's see. Underwear, a three-person tent. No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But, hey, what's this? Shampoo. Do I hold here in my hands? The secret of his gleaming curls? Okay. This pillowcase is full of life first. And second, too late. This not necessary. There's already This situation big difference. This situation big different. I knew it. toothpaste? This situation big different. Okay. That's hardly it. I knew it. Tooth. Now it contains, and that doesn't fit. But the color looks good. Okay. I can still hang my. Fi Shampoo. Do I look like I have it also helps again? Then you should hang on to it. Um hmm. Absurd humor is okay in itself, but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity. I have no idea what that means, bud. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> But I can't waste this. I'm thinking. Okay. Not a single but where? Not a single hair in the hood, but where hey! else? That's my give it back now that my cutter is yeah and what about our friendship friendship you've stolen my last possession well real friends share everything 
mind carrying around, and if that's supposed to be an omen, that already has it. Let's just hope those are all. You? This plan could do with such. I was thinking. Oregano? One thing causes. That makes 50%. Okay. No answer. I can think of a thousand ways to crack this lock, but the designer seems to have foreseen all of them. Apparently, word of my skills has gotten around. thing I need and the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash do I make myself clear as clear as clay my assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning meanwhile fill out the registration up and bot and take good care of the bag with the money apparently only rabble work in this so-called hotel somebody works here excuse me inspector but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange cookie do mammoth fur read? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire now. Room one. Okay. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Whew. Close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Hmm. If I what's missing here is a plan, or at least a couple of hmm. I'm curious. Hmm. Rare porcelain. Antique crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Uh -huh. Money! Actually, there might be something else in the restaurant now that we've had. Who needs tools? Ready? Pretty slippery. So, what if. I add sticky That would work. Cake. Not. Okay. For a machine. And I haven't even. I better. Okay. Um, no, J just the wind. <laughs> that was to be expected. Not even the wind knows how to behave here. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, this pressure. What if I fail and the world really does end? Oh, no. I am the greatest. Hmm. Hey, thanks for letting I never said. Oh, why should you? friends understand? Hey, Doc, you'll never guess what I... Not now, Rufus. I'm very busy at the moment. Ah, oh, man, you're always busy. Okay. So... I wonder... What a bummer! The vending machine only takes coins. 
What a bummer. The vending. Okay. The heating is off, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Not that I couldn't switch it back on any time. I'm thinking here primarily. The heating is not that I could. I'm thinking here. Although the same. Oh, fish now, knife. But the color. The last thing that's missing. Not fish knife. Shit! 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 shit. God damn it! Now it can take. I keep thing. accidentally right clicking Bozo's back. Um. This hmm. pillowcase is first and second. This pillowcase first and second. This pillow first and second. That's hardly any. That's hardly any uses of spread. I knew it. Toothpaste. That's hardly any. That's hardly. That's hardly. That's hardly. That's hardly. That's hardly. That already has it. Let's. That already has it. Let's. I knew it. Toothpaste. I knew. It. Toothpaste. I knew. It. Tooth. One. That makes. Toothpaste, toothpaste belong. That already happened. Let's just talk. things like just like I'm carrying if that I don't have to it was a in the uh Okay. Uh My goodness. Pretty snappy for somebody who doesn't have any teeth. But just you wait. I'll stop your big mouth. Ew. The way you worded that, horrendous. <laughs> All of the same. <sighs> Who needs change? Ouch. Uh. Hmm. What a bummer. The vent. What a bu the vent. Okay. What if I... this sounds dumb. Let's assume I would the world... Fate? Okay, can fate be... No! For fate knows, shine Hulu, and also has a loaded plasma pistol stuck under the table. Get me? Uh, it was just... Okay. I don't have to... It was in the... Uh... I don't have to... It was in the... Uh... Uh, hmm. What if... Bags like that are genuine. Bags like genuine. Bags like gen. Bags like gen. Are we supposed to keep? And now that I took his money, that's what. Okay. I don't think that. I'll be honest, I have no idea what we're supposed to do next, and we are about at the end of the time that I usually set aside for the stream, so I'm gonna call it. Uh, join me later tonight on Big Beard Nerd 21 to watch Hazra the Night Sister as she currently is just starting up a ship. So yeah, Big Beard Nerd 21, Shadowport Adventure, 7.30 p.m. EST. Uh, join me on Thursday at 8 p.m. EST for more Orion the Will of the Wisps. Join me here again next Sunday for more Now Goodbye Deponia. Uh, 
And yeah, I will see you then. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your weekend. Let's see who's online so we can raid them. And goodbye.